Okay, well, this week uh, what I have, and I feel reluctant saying by week because I don't always do these by week. I may do a video, you know, today and four hours from now or, you know, one and two weeks from now, but it happened to have been about a week, so. Um, I, I re again, I really didn't get to any modeling. I've been working a lot uh, over time and things like that. So, uh, but what I did do is I talked to a friend of mine, and uh, he had these model kits, and uh, he originally had offered them to me, and uh, I said, "You build them," you know. I mean, you know, I wanted him to. Okay, okay, and then I thought about it, and I said, "Well, you know, he may not get to building them. He may not." you know, be into the hobby uh, as much as, you know, he did offer them to me, so I, I said, how about I build them and I give them to you and you can display them and, you know, it would be a, a creation, model creation, <laughs> if you will, uh, for you, you know, so uh, he had a couple of special requests, um, one being that the um, Grand National that's in the back um, is, is uh, going to be built uh, to look like a specific car um, that is like a real car um, so I'm going to be attempting that um, basically that car only in a certain condition and I'm going to try and recreate it as like a uh, you know um, a recreation or a you know a, a replica there we go. Um, and that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So I thought we'd go over these kits a little bit um, and what he gave me, uh, you know, gave me to work with. And uh, we'll talk about these kits a little bit. Um, first thing I kind of did was uh, I noticed that there's three different kits here. There's a, a Ravel, uh, an MPC kit, and a monogram kit. Um, so I got a little curious and looked them up a little bit online and uh, you know just for history because you know I've seen these kits around and you know they're quite popular kits and uh, kind of wanted to know the history uh, monogram was uh, founded in 1945 which is amazing about these model companies that they were founded in the, in the 40s and yeah, and everything where I mean people have been making models for you know this long I mean that that's amazing um, by two former employees of comic kits uh, I tried to look up comic kits uh, I found some kits uh, obviously very vintage and uh, then the company was purchased by Mattel in the 70s uh, so you know that's what I found basically on you know like Wikipedia for monogram um, MPC is you know stands for uh, Model Products Corporation. Uh, they're part of General Mills. Uh, started in 1963. Um, they had lines of uh, George Barris cars, Ed Roth, and of course they did Star Wars stuff. So um, uh, the 2009. Um, round two, which I didn't know, I guess is uh, a part of MPC. So that was interesting. Found that uh, and Ravel, founded in 1943. Again, amazing. That I mean, 1943, and California, and they started with trains. So that's you know, just some you know quick little history that I'm sure anyone could look up. You know and. Um, I'm sure a lot of other people could school me on uh, various histories, but uh, yeah, I thought it was interesting. Um, this kit is really cool. It's a Revell kit. It's a 1932 Ford three window coupe, um, skill level two, and he had already started this kit. Uh, there's all kinds of things in here that. Uh, I probably will be giving back to him that's his stuff but he had already started this kit he did a good job and there's the motor uh, there's the motor there looks very well detailed some focus um, 
And basically he had hand painted the car. Um, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fix this up for him and and uh, really do it upright. He broke a wheel off. I'm gonna do something with that. And you know, um, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it develops into. Um, I had been working on the uh, what is it? The F14 Tomcat. Yeah, um, it's coming along. I'm still working on it, but this is gonna be this is gonna be a project I'm gonna take on and do. Uh, it's basically, you know, to uh, for him um, to give back to him and uh, for him to enjoy uh, the model kits uh, when they're built. This is something I want to try with. Prob I'm probably gonna do it with this kit here. Oh, let me come back out here. With uh, this kit here is this 1986 Chevy El Camino, um, which was basically uh, it's a Monte Carlo style nose and everything. And what I want to do is I want to try and light that kit. I want to try and light the headlights and the taillights and the marker lights. I want to see if I can do that, or at least the headlights and taillights. I'm gonna try that. Uh, it'll be the first lighting attempt that I want to do, and. I figured this, you know, would be a good opportunity. I have to actually steal the wheels for this kit from when I do the replica of that other car. And he had some paints too uh, that he, you know, threw at me for the builds. And uh, yeah, that's about it, really. You know, I mean, they're just going to be coming together. I'm gonna throw them together. There's a lot of little parts and doodads and things he had in here um, this is a Buick Grand National and it's really close to Regals and things like that and I gotta take some pictures and recreate a car that uh, they own or he owns and uh, that'll be interesting I think the car actually has a sunroof in it so I might have to try and find another car cut the sunroof out of it or you know, kind of scratch build a sunroof into that, so that'll be interesting to see how I tackle that. So, it's a little wrap up there. What I'm gonna do, and what I'll probably be working on, like I said, I might tackle the Ford first because it's probably the cooler of the kits, and you know, I, I like it, I think, more than the others. Uh, it's a really neat looking kit. Uh, I might see what I can try to do with it and try to make it real hot rod looking and uh, You know, I mean that one has torque thrust D wheels on it. Um, that's just a style of rim that happens to be on it and uh, It'll make it real hot rod. Uh, I might not make it put a shine on it. I might try and make it uh, kind of a rat rod type of thing. We'll see um, But that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, and probably the coming weeks. We'll see how that comes together. Like I said, I want to light. I want to try doing a, like a lighting kit. Like the El Camino has a lot of space uh, in the back. So I, I, what I'm thinking is I can put like a battery in the bed of the El Camino, and then I can write, run all the wiring and the lights, and you know, it should be pretty easy. I'm thinking. So. I'm going to try that. That'll be fun. Uh, and again, with lighting, I haven't done a lot of it, but um, I would like to touch on a little bit of lighting stuff. Uh, just things you find that I found in lighting uh, that could be useful is um, surface mount LEDs, which I don't see a lot of people use because they can fit right in. Um, I don't know how much and how with the availability is online to finding these parts but it might be interesting to talk about that and see how uh, they work for models but that's probably it for now um, keep an eye out and uh, we'll see how these kits come together